Hey y'all, peace and love. I hope all is well with you this evening. I'm gonna take a moment for you guys to get in the room. I just wanna let you know that I'm still doing my tarot reading special where you schedule one reading with me and you get a free follow-up reading seven or more days from the date of purchase. So you're really gonna wanna get in when you, where you fit in, you guys. You guys book me up, so. I really want to encourage you all to make sure you're scheduling as soon as possible, okay? So I have some some room for you guys. Um, and, you know, make sure you follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tierra Neo Chardet. And to my Instagram page, Tierra Neo Chardet as well. So come on in. Hey, peace and love. I'm well. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Hey, welcome, sis. Peace and love. Hope all is well with you. I'm going to hop right in because I'm really excited about this. Um, this message today. Bear with me just a second, you guys. Ooh. There we go. All right, I'm back. <laughs> how is everyone? Hey, welcome, welcome. You guys know how we do. Start sharing this video because you know it's going to be good. All right? And you guys love when I talk about um relationships and love and a lot of my tarot readings i do for y'all are based on relationships and breakups and things like that so love is in the air you guys <laughs> okay a lot of us are calling in our twin flames our soulmates um a lot of us are connecting with new people so you know love is a real topic hey peace and love simone welcome Come on in, come on in. So today's video is Love 101, Karmic Relationships. I did another Love 101 video a few days ago. I've been trying to upload that to my YouTube channel, you guys, but I'm having some difficulties. So bear with me. Uh, hopefully I could get that up so you guys can uh, take a look at that. So karmic relationships. What are karmic relationships? So karmic relationships could be quote unquote good or bad. Okay, um, a karmic relationship could be, you know, you have a best friend and as soon as they came into your life, you know, things started going really well for you. They've been able to give you feedback and advice. They've been a real shoulder for you to cry on. So that's one form of karmic relationships. The form that I'm referring to, though, the type of karmic relationship I'm referring to are the romantic unions where we're not necessarily supposed to stay in this relationship with this person. OK, you guys. So I really want to talk about that. I've had a couple situations like that myself. And this is where this information comes from. And then, like I said, having clients and doing readings for you all, this really comes up a lot, okay? Beware of the karmic relationships, okay? So you may very well be somebody's karmic partner. So understand what it means. So say you meet a guy, all right, and he really, he feels like the one. He sounds like the one. He walks like the one. Sorry, I got like a lint on my lip. What's going on? <laughs> He walks, he talks like the one. But in your relationship, you started recognizing some red flags or you've went through a significant amount of growth and you realize that you and this partner, partner no longer connect in the way that you used to. And you'll find that the longer you stay in the relationship, you're growing unhappy, you feel stagnant, you feel like you can't grow. Uh, certain aspects about that person that used to excite you or make you happy, they no longer make you happy. You're realizing that you guys are arguing more or you're feeling like you're not receiving everything you need from this person so you can start to be a little insecure or you can start to... Um, you know blame them for certain things and it's really important for us to realize that that may be a karmic relationship now um i really truly believe and i was talking to a couple of my friends about this i truly believe that the universe the divine god whatever you believe in i really feel like they give us these interim partners these interim boyfriends these in-between relationships so that we can learn, so that we can grow. 
also before we touch down on this planet there's contracts that we sign where we're like okay yeah i agree when i'm 27 years old i'm gonna get into this relationship with this guy this soul right here and he's gonna teach me a profound lesson you know we go through that and i found in my relationships like oh like this is the in-between guy <laughs> This is not the man I'm supposed to marry or I'm supposed to be with. This is just the guy that's really supposed to teach me a profound lesson to advance me on my soul's purpose on this path. And a lot of you guys, if you evaluate re your relationships, you'll you'll see that. Like, okay, she was really just the catalyst to refer me to this job or to this career and now that I'm in this career I'm doing the best that I could possibly do in life and she's not really supposed to be the person that you marry and it's important for us to recognize when or if we're in a karmic relationship once we once you realize that you're in a karmic relationship and it's one of those relationships where it's run its course it is your responsibility to end it like really and that can sound harsh to some people but this is the truth okay I, I really like to deal in truth I'm a Libra I'm all for that truth peace justice balance harmony fairness equality I'm all about that so I'm only gonna give you the truth okay once you realize that a relationship a partnership a business relationship um, I haven't experienced that recently I've experienced a relationship ending um, that I knew was karmic once you realize it's karmic and that you're supposed to take the lessons and go on about your business it is your responsibility to end it and certain things can happen to you and around you if you decide not to follow that intuition and end that relationship for example okay you can you know feel like you're on your last leg of that relationship it's getting to the point where you're disrespecting each other where the, the littlest things get on your nerves you can't stand it right <laughs> that could be an indication that it's time for you to part ways from that partner or they have you in interesting situations that you knew that you know you wouldn't have been in if you decided to part ways with that partner that could be anything they got you bailing them out of jail you devolved you're involved in domestic violence you're involved in a three-party situation where there's another person coming in where you can be involved in cheating stealing lying you can get caught up in so many different negative situations because you realize that you were not supposed to be with this person but you decided to stay with them really okay and me and another friend were talking about we need to be able to distinguish who's the partner for us and who is not we have to be very, very discerning. We have to trust our intuition and we have to make a clean cut decision to leave them alone. And we really have to be unapologetic about it. And I'm not saying you have to be rude. I really encourage people to be loving and to be respectful. Uh, be compassionate. Put yourself in that other person's situation. But really, you have to make a decision to end a relationship. Point blank. Um... And you know, you guys, I, I be all up in, <laughs> y'all be all up in my business. I be really transparent with you guys. I tell on myself in almost every single video. I had a situation where I realized I was in a karmic relationship. Where I realized, okay, this is the middleman. This is the interim boyfriend, partner, divine partner. This could very well be a twin flame or soulmate relationship. But that doesn't mean that I am to stay in a union that is not for my good because we say that a lot oh he's my twin flame she's my twin flame she's my soulmate that doesn't mean you have to be with them especially if you realize certain things coming out of you that you're like nah like this is not what i want this is not healthy we're arguing all the time this is not beneficial so i recently had to get out of a karmic relationship because i realized that I learned certain lessons already like I got it I understand why this person came into my life I understand the timing of when they were gonna come into my life I even received divine messages and dreams and intuitive knowing and visions that this person was gonna come into my life before they ever showed up 
So I was already prepared for this union. I already knew what it was. I already knew that there were going to be profound lessons that I needed to learn that would get me to the next level. Okay. And it got to the point where, you know, I was in love with this person. I felt so strongly about this person. To this day, I still have so much love and caring for this person. But I understand that it was a, it's a karmic relationship. I understand that there is no way on this planet this relationship is going to work. I knew that intuitively, okay? And I'll tell you another thing about myself. I decided to continue in the union for a while. I made it clear that, you know, I, I no longer want this type of romantic partnership. I would rather be friends. But I continued in a union of some kind, and it really wasn't the best for me. What I noticed and what many of you guys can probably resonate with is you'll notice things in your relationship or things in your life will, will tend to become stagnant for you. And it's because you're dealing in energies or you're surrounded by people who you were supposed to graduate from. You were supposed to graduate from these people. They can be anything. They could be bosses. They can be... Um, they can be, and I'm sorry if the connection is going in and out, you guys. Let me know if the connection gets bad, okay? Because um, it was raining a little bit today, so I'm not sure, okay? Um, so it could be anything, right? It could be your boss. It could be an overbearing parent. It could be your child, okay? It could be certain things that you're supposed to learn these lessons. You're supposed to take them to heart, and then you go about your life not doing these same things before. Not doing these same things again, rather. Um, and so this is what I experienced. I realized that if I was to stay in this romantic union with this person, I would not be able to grow. And it's because it's like, it's like graduating in college and somebody asking you to repeat the fifth grade. You're going to be like, wait, what? Like, nah, I'm already past that. That's how I felt in that relationship. And that is not to talk down about the other person in any way, shape, or form. Because I have so much love for that person. And I truly hope that they find the one for them. But I understand that that person is not me. And that's okay. All right? That's okay. But it's like, once you learn a lesson and you take it in... You are to move on with what you learned and you're supposed to apply it. That is wisdom. That is power. Applying the knowledge that you learned. And if you don't do that, you're going to have to repeat the thing over and over and over again, you guys. It's going to be a repetitive cycle. I think that was a little bit redundant. But it's going to be a cycle where you're going to see the same situation with the next person or you're going to have that same um, type of energy, that same man, that same woman show up in your life. And people say it all the time, like, why am I always attracting this type of woman? Why am I always attracting this type of man? And it's because you had, you, you were in class, you had a lesson, it came with textbooks and homework and all of that. And you did not you did not successfully pass that class. You did not successfully learn that lesson. So, you know, the divine is going to bring it right back around for you to learn from. And this is what happens. This is the situation that we find ourselves in. Okay, so these are, um, these are karmic relationships. These are karmic partnerships. And like I said, you know, I was really, um, I was really guided to do this video this evening because like I said, I have been going through this in my adult life and I recently experienced this relationship for myself and I also you know with my clients I see this with them as well um and like I said this is the season for love a lot of people call this cuffing season because it's getting cold but I'm in the tropics you guys so it's hot year round so I don't have to deal with cuffing season but I do have to really pay attention to the people that show up in my life the men that show up in my life and really evaluating them and seeing what they're able to teach me because um these unions these partnerships they're able to teach us a lot they really are and it's really up to us to um to learn these lessons and to take heed so that we don't repeat them so again karmic relationship the one that i'm referring to these are the relationships where you have a lesson to learn 
this person is meeting you right on your wavelength, right on your vibration, and they're there to teach you something, and you must learn it and apply that information because it's preparing you for the next partner. A lot of us are in relationships, and they are literally just stepping stones to our divine partner right we are we you have literally engaged in a relationship with this woman just so you could gain the lessons that you need to learn because your true partner is on the way and you cannot uh, match with that partner on a vibration level until you learn these lessons until you apply this knowledge until you start walking in your soul's purpose that is when you're going to meet this partner but the one that you're with right now here today they could very well be that karmic partner okay where you guys have both signed a contract saying i'm going to come into your life at this point i know we're not going to be together forever but you do have a divine partner you have a soulmate you have a twin flame on the way i am the one that's going to show up in your life to prepare you for that person and we have to be very discerning and find out who they are like I said, for me, I really followed that divine guidance, those messages, that intuition, those visions, those dreams, where it was like, okay, this person is really great and it really feels like he's the one, but he's not. He's not. And that's okay. Show him the best love while you guys are together, but just know that you are going to part ways sooner than later and that you will be ready for your divine partner, for your husband. Um yeah for for your partner and your divine uh your husband so i just wanted to say that you guys this was a quick video i want you guys to be mindful of this um again i tell this to people a lot i say this a lot but as soon as you start walking in your soul's purpose that's when your divine partner is going to show up that's when your soulmate your twin flame the one that you're truly supposed to be with that's when they show up Okay, once you really integrate all these uploads and downloads that we're getting, once you start applying the wisdom that you receive from the divine, that's when this partner will show up for you. But when you're in a relationship and you know that it is stagnant, it is no longer beneficial for you to be in it, where you feel like you both are just in quicksand where you feel like there's no more love, there's no more connection, that is a karmic relationship that you're supposed to end. Once you realize that you cannot move any further in that relationship, you must cut it off. And that doesn't mean being mean about it. That doesn't mean that. You're supposed to cut that relationship with love and integrity and compassion and really truly hope that that person can also find their divine partner. You know, sincerely send them that love okay and you know hopefully you get that love in return but it's really all about you right so i send this person so much love and compassion so much love because i want them to find the person that's for them and this is the consciousness dating this is conscious love this is 2019 and beyond love where there's no hard feelings where there's no um ill will towards that other person you genuinely want them to find the person that's for them just as much as you genuinely want to find the person that's for you all right you guys so that's really all i came in here to say um let me scroll up and see some messages hey i'm well thank you for joining me peace and love when i let go of my car karmic relationship i was blessed yes oh it was hard but i went go back yes simone absolutely it is once you realize that the relationship is a karmic relationship and you're not supposed to be in there it's so empowering it's so empowering because it's like oh my god I've, i paid attention to the signs my intuition be on point and you know you realize the lessons that this relationship was trying to teach you, that this person was trying to teach you. And that can only be to your advantage. That can only work to empower you. So that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna go back to it because you already know the person that you're really supposed to be with is a A1. They're a sure thing, they're a shooting star. They're your divine partner. And you are equipped and able to love them and love yourself to the best of your ability because of the lessons you learned from past relationships and past experiences. Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you're resonating with this. Um, 
so yeah welcome y'all who just joined in um this was supposed to be a really quick video for you guys i'm gonna upload this to my youtube channel tiara neo Chardé. those links are in the description box also, I'm still doing my Schedule 1 reading and get a free follow-up reading seven days from the date of purchase. So you'd be able to know if the Divine wants you to be in the current relationship that you're in. And I do a lot of readings about this, you guys. I also offer Twin Flame and Soulmate readings. Oh my gosh, did the power go out? Um, Twin Flame, I'm still here though. Twin Flame and Soulmate readings. So I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. The power went out um, at 2020. Wow.